هذا وغادر جلالة الملك عبد الله الثاني أرض الوطن اليوم متوجها إلى الولايات المتحدة للمشاركة في اجتماعات الجمعية العامة للأمم المتحدة إذ يلقي جلالته خطابا في الجلسة الافتتاحية لاجتماعات الجمعية في دورتها التاسعة والسبعين والتي تبدأ في الرابع والعشرين من الشهر الحالي في مدينة نيويورك وعلى هامش الاجتماعات يعقد جلالة الملك لقاءات مع قادة دول ورؤساء وفود مشاركين وفي ولاية ميريلاند يلتقي جلالته حاكم الولاية وسمور بالإضافة إلى مجموعة من الرؤساء التنفيذيين وممثلي عدد من الشركات والجامعات الأمريكية The Assembly will now hear an address by His Majesty King Abdullah II ibn Hussein, King of the Hashemite Kingdom of Jordan. The region's contemporary crisis are outgrowths of essential grievance felt throughout the Middle East and indeed the world. That grievance, plain and simply, is Israeli occupation and the denial over decades of Palestinian rights. For almost 65 years, the Palestinian people have been the exception to the UN promise, the shelter of international law and human rights, except not yet. The dignity of living in freedom and security, except not yet. The right to self-determination, except not yet. Enough. We cannot address the future of my region without addressing its central conflict, the denial of Palestinian rights and statehood. The bitter war on Gaza this past year was a reminder that the current situation is simply unsustainable. What would our world look like now if the conflict had been settled long ago, if walls had never gone up and people had been allowed to build bridges of cooperation instead, where are we going? Without clarity on where Palestinians' future lies, it will be impossible to converge on a political solution to this conflict. Five million Palestinians live under occupation. No civil rights, no freedoms of mobility, no say in their lives. Yet every UN resolution since the beginning of this conflict recognizes the equal rights of the Palestinian people to a future of peace, dignity, and hope.